Yes. So why are you making this video? Well, first off, I'm not going to say what everyone else is saying. Um, we all know what's going on out there. I'm not going to be sorry or uh, shameful. Um, but instead, I think we should use every ounce we're going to use to be sorry or shameful into something more productive. So how do we change a pandemic into a positive? The reason why I say we is because at the end of the day, we're all in this together. So how can you help? So I have uh, three things I want to share. Uh, the first thing is negative thoughts are not your friend. There is a scale from uh, one uh, to a hundred and our thoughts make up a lot uh, of who we are. And if we are consumed by negative thoughts, it leaves very little hope for encouragement for us to grow or to reflect. We must be more solution oriented. When you go into a relationship, you cannot go into a relationship 50-50. You have to be 100 and 100. It has to take maximum effort in order to make it work, okay? So your, your thoughts and your actions have a relationship. And the more you spend time on a solution, the more productive you can be. Now, is everything positive? Absolutely not. But it's not the thing that happens to you. It's how you respond to the thing that happens to you. The same thing happens to everyone, but not in the same way. The only thing that separates me from another person is how I respond to that same thing that happens to you. So what if they lost their job? Look, I'm sorry um, if you lost your job, but it still fits for number two, and that is a gratitude adjustment. So what did you really lose? You may have lost a position, or a job, um, but did you lose your family? Did you lose your blessings from coming in? Uh, blessings don't depend on how much money you have in the bank or the bills that you paid on time. Blessings are all around us. Uh, do you have dogs? Do you feed birds? Do they have enough food? Do they have enough of what they need? Surely you have more than what you need. Uh, if you made a list, of the bad things that's going on in your life right now, I'm pretty sure it'll be a good size list. But if you made another list of all the good things and all the blessings in your life, I'm pretty sure that it would hilariously outweigh the bad things in your life right now. Count your blessings. Number three is the blame game does not play fair. Stop blaming yourself for what's going on. It's not all your fault. That's too much good energy being used in the wrong direction. Instead, take those negative thoughts, the gratitude, and the blame energy and focus it on what your environment is going to need in the future. Stop living in a fishbowl. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What is living in a fishbowl? Well, living in a fishbowl is some of y'all only had maybe one or two jobs, okay? So you only maybe know how to do only a couple of things, but there is a whole ocean of stuff that you can do. So you're gonna have to adapt to your environment and change a little bit. You're not gonna be able to do always the same thing. Now, if you had a career, you can progress in that career. There are more new jobs that's being created right now. New jobs are being thought of and created right now, if you didn't know that, all right? Uh, if you were one of those people who did not hoard all the uh, paper towels, all of the toilet paper, all the beans, all the rice, all the sanitizer, all the uh, dishwashing liquid, and all these things that psychologically are your safe haven or give you a sense uh, or peace of mind, okay? Then if you handle the situation, with poise and professionalism and organization skills, you might have a gift or a career in crisis management. The last thing I wanna share with you guys is a story um, that I kinda made up um, that is about this uh, retired woman and this young boy who um, always sees this lady at the lake. She walks over around 2 uh, p.m. every single Sunday with a uh, bucket and a towel and this uh, box full of tools. And every single day, this boy would play by the lake 
and he was always curious about what that lady was doing. So one day, he got the courage to walk up to her and ask her, uh, what are you doing? And so she had this bucket, and in the bucket, it was full of turtles. And what she was doing, she was cleaning um, the crevices of the turtles, uh, the, where their uh, nails and claws were, um, the backs out of their shells, the parts that they couldn't get to. She was cleaning it. Um, but the boy was kind of confused because um, it was full of turtles. And after she was done, she would toss the turtles or put the turtles into the lake. Now they'd be nice and clean. She did this every single day for a very long time. And the boy had said, okay, um, you know, there's no way you'll be able to clean all the turtles. You know, uh, once they go into the lake, they're just gonna get uh, dirty again. So why are you keep doing this? You know, are you trying to, uh, you know, change the world? And the woman says, uh, says to the boy, okay, um, you know, I may not be able to change the whole world. No, but I did change the world of these turtles, okay? You can't always just look at your own situation and make it seem like, oh, woe is me, everything's up in flames, now what am I going to do? You have to look at things a whole lot different. If you look at them in a more uh, positive outcome, okay, you will have a more positive um, uh, mindset um, on everything else, all right? Every thought that we have, it builds up, whether that's good or whether that's bad. But if you build up good thoughts, you will produce good results. That's just the way it is, all right? Now, I don't know how this video is going to help you, but I hope in some way it does. It takes a whole lot of courage for me to uh, uh, sit here and do this because I have not done anything like this before. So please take what you can from it, all right? We're all in this together. Everyone, have a great day.